of liberation has come on Vitria. Join Abiola Daniel Akitola every Monday, 8 p.m. prompt on Vitria to pray and listen to live messages from the Word of God that set the captives free. Christ has sent Abiola Daniel Akitola on this program to preach good tidings unto the maimed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and opening of the prison to them that are bound, and comfort all that mourn. Vitria every Monday, 8 p.m. prompt. Pray along with Abiola Daniel Akintola on Facebook at Daniel Akintola. Kintola on YouTube at Abidan Productions. Prayer line 070-8668-5373. 070-8668-5373. Victory belong to Jesus. Therefore, in Christ, you are victorious. Another victory are he blessed the name of the Lord for giving us the grace to come on air again this week. We bless him, we give him glory, we give him honor and adoration. Brethren, let us begin to worship the name of the Lord. Let us appreciate him. Let us begin to say sweet words unto him, sing new songs unto him, because he's God and he has been showing himself great and mighty in our lives. Begin to appreciate this God. Don't take the grace of God for granted because so many people are gone. So many people are in the hospital because, um, you know, we are not, we are not, it's not that we are, we are mocking them, but it's just the grace of God that is in our life, that is over us, that has been keeping us and, and believe in the name of Jesus, we continue to keep us. So don't let us take this grace for granted. Begin to worship him from the depth of your heart. Begin to worship him, adore him. Say, say, uh, say hallelujah to his name. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you because you are God, because you are the one that has been helping us, that has been sustaining us. Father, we appreciate you. We adore you. Father, we bow before you. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, King of glory, for the past one week that we, have, we, we were here. God has made it possible for us to still come again. Father, we are very grateful unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord, Jesus Christ is Lord, Amen. Every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, Amen. What a mighty God we say, hallelujah. What a mighty God we say, hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore him, angels fall before him. What a mighty God we say. 
What a glorious God. What a mighty God. He said, Glory, hallelujah. What a mighty God. We said, Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels fall before Him. What a mighty God we serve. I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. Are you serving? I am serving the Lord of miracles. I know, yes, I know. I am serving the God of miracles. I know, yes, I know. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so excited because I am serving a God of miracles. I am serving the God that is sufficient. I am serving the God that is all in all for me. I believe you are also saying your own because I'm saying what, you know, I cannot even express it. I can express it what God has been in my life. Begin to worship him once again. Thank him, Father. We bless your name, O God, in Jesus mighty name we have worshipped amen brethren let us go before him let us confess our sins let us ask for the forgiveness of our sins let us ask for mercy begin to pray 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 confess your sins confess your sins because the bible says our righteousness is like filthy rags so begin to confess before your maker Tell him what you have done, the one that you can remember, the one that you are not even remember. Begin to confess. Ask God to forgive you. God of heaven, Lord, I'm here before you. I know I am not perfect. I am not complete. Lord God Almighty, I, com I confess all my shortcomings, all my inadequacies. I confess before you today. Lord, please have mercy on me. Have mercy on my household. God, have mercy on my husband and my children. Jehovah God, have mercy. Have mercy on my siblings, my parents in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for mercy over everyone that is listening to me right now. Oh, that will listen to me later. Father, Lord, let your mercy speak for our lives in the name of Jesus. Tonight, oh God of heaven, we ask oh God that your mercy, we open the windows of heaven unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen in, in Jesus name. Amen. Tonight our topic says I am beyond limits. I want you to say to yourself I am beyond limit. I Abiola Daniel Akitola, I am beyond limit. Nobody, no one, no principality, no power will be able to bring me down in the name of Jesus. I want to believe that you are also confessing it to yourself because this topic is a confession. That is why I want you to say it to yourself. Beat your heart, beat your chest with confidence and say, let the devil hear, let the household wickedness hear, let the witch, the witches of your father's house, the witches of your mother's, of your healer's house, let them hear that they cannot, they cannot bind you. They cannot put you in a spot. They cannot put you in a tight corner. Begin to say to yourself, I am beyond limit. I am beyond limit. My husband is beyond limit. My children are beyond limit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Bible text is taken from the book of, of uh Exodus, um, the book of Exodus chapter 14. 
the book of exodus chapter 14 you know it's a long verse but i will not want to uh, i will not want to bore us with the whole of the story is the story of the children of israel uh the book of exodus chapter 14 i'll just read verse um uh, verses 15 and 16 verses 15 and 16 the whole you can you know on your own you can just go through the uh the, uh, the exodus chapter 14 but let's just see what verses 15 and 16 is saying they say and the lord said unto moses wherefore criest thou unto me speak unto the children of israel that they go forward but lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it and the children of israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea i'm so excited because the the, the egyptians they thought they are the children of israel are, they, are, they are at the end of uh, end of the road that they are, they, are, they are going to perish or they are going to bring them back to egypt for slavery but god of heaven that was with them at that time that i know is still with us at this time he says to moses why are you crying out to me why are you you know why are you uh why are you afraid just tell the children of israel go forward because i am beyond limit because i am beyond limit i am going forward whether the devil likes it or not i want you to be so so sure of the god that you are serving tonight the children of israel they they had already escaped but the egyptian were coming they were pursuing them and they go to the red sea they thought they had gone to the dead end but god showed he showed up for them i'm going to prophesy into somebody's life tonight that where the enemies thought they will catch up with you god will show forth for you in the name of jesus because you had already prophesied into your life you have already made that confession tonight that you are beyond limit therefore the grace of god will work for you in every tight corner that you have found yourself in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen you know the rod moses you use the rod at that time to pass to to uh, to uh, to uh, no make a way in the red sea god said what do you have in your heart use that rod and he used the rod but tonight you and i will be using the word of god the word of god is powerful the word of god is mighty that is why we are going to be using the word of god to take ourselves above every limit to take ourselves above every difficult situation tonight and i pray even as we open our mouth god will answer us in the mighty name of jesus Amen. What is Deuteronomy 28 13 saying? He says, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou, there is a condition, if you want to break limits, if you want to go above where the, the, where the enemies are, are, are they, they thought you are, you, they are, are put you, you have to be obedient. You want to be obedient. That is the condition that the children, that God is giving here. He says, If thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. What is the prayer point here? I am meant for the top. I refuse to be brought down. Begin to say to yourself, according to the word of God in Deuteronomy chapter uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 13. He says you will be above only and you will not be beneath. That I will be above only and I will not be beneath. Therefore, cry aloud to God. Say to him, I am meant for the top. I refuse to be brought down in the name of Jesus. I am meant for the top. I refuse to be brought down. I refuse to be brought low in the name of Jesus. I am meant for the top. The word of God says I will, I will be the head and not the tail. He says I will be above only and I will not be beneath. Therefore, I declare, I, I declare and I declare to my destiny. I declare and I declare to the destiny of my children or my, ch or my, or my husband. In the name of Jesus, we are meant for the top. We will not be brought down. 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 We are meant for the top. We will not be brought down. We will not be brought low. In the name of Jesus, no matter how 
tight the situation is, no matter how tough the situation is, we refuse to be brought down. We refuse to be brought down. We refuse to be brought down. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. What is Romans 8, chapter 8, verse 37 saying? He says, Nay, in all these things, <laughs> we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. What is this one telling you? No battle, whatever, no matter how fierce the battle is, you cannot be overcome in the name of Jesus. That is what the word of God is saying. He says, Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. What are you saying here? Yeah, you are going to cry aloud to God. You are going to say to him, where people are being overcome by battle, I am more than conqueror. Begin to prophesy into your life. Where people are being overcome by battle, by battle, I am more than conqueror. In the name of Jesus, my household is more than conqueror. My husband is more than conqueror. My children are more than conquerors. In the name of Jesus, where battle are, 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 are overwhelming people at the spot, at the spot that people, people are being overcome by battle. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, my household, we are more than conquerors. In the name of Jesus, because we are beyond limits. We cannot be limited in the name of Jesus. Where battles are fears, we are more than conquerors. In the name of Jesus, we are more than conquerors. In the name of Jesus, we are more than conquerors. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You know, I said to us earlier, I said, Moses used the rod to make a way in the, uh, in the Red Sea. And the children of God that Egyptian thought they had gotten to the dead end. They walked on dry land. But we are the children of Israel uh, 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 of today. We are the children. We are the sons and the daughters of God. We are using the word of God to pray tonight. We are using the word of God to break every limit. We are using the word of God to, 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 to overcome every form of difficulty on our way. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is the book? Of, uh, the, the psalmist is, um, say, is, is saying. In the, in, in the book of Psalm, chapter 18 and verse 29. The book of Psalm, chapter 18 and verse 29. David said here, he said, For by thee I have run through a troop, and by God I have leaped over a wall. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to cry aloud to God. You are going to say, By the strength of God Almighty, I break every barrier. Hey, are you ready to break barriers? He katolia na suma handelia kadaba. He brekete sutadia. We want to go beyond limits. If you are beyond limits, you need to break barriers on your way. Barriers on your pathway to success. Barriers on your way to pathway to, to victory. You are going to say to God, by the strength of God Almighty, I break every barrier to my pathway to success. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength. I receive strength. I receive strength. I receive strength. And I break barrier. I break barriers. I break barriers to my pathway to success. In the name of Jesus, I receive the strength of the Almighty God. And I break barriers. And I break barriers. And I I break barriers in Jesus mighty name we are prayed amen you are going to say to God you are going to touch your head that is the symbol of your destiny you are going to cry aloud you are going to speak into your head you are speaking into your spirit man you are going to cry aloud you are going to call your names you are going to say to yourself you are going to address yourself you are going to say to God my father my father <laughs> my head refuse to abort evil <laughs> you know if your head if there is something wrong with your head you will not be able to move forward you will not be able to break barriers you will not be able to go beyond limits begin to address your head begin to address your head the head of your of your children one after the other begin to call their names call your name call your names i'm going to call my own names if you cannot even remember your name you can call my name my name is abiola daniela kitola I speak it to my head. I speak it to my destiny. You will not harbor evil. The evil that will bring you down. The evil that will bring you low. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy. I declare unto my head. I declare unto my destiny. Because I believe my head is 
is the symbol of my destiny. I prophesy, I declare unto my head that evil that will bring you down, that will bring you low, beyond what God has pro uh, uh, pro uh, uh, prepared for you. That evil will, co will go away. My head will not harbor the evil. In the name of Jesus, the way of people will say, Ori mi oni babode. Begin to say it to God. My head will not harbor evil. In the name of Jesus, the evil that will bring my destiny down, that will make people to begin to trample upon my destiny. In the name of Jesus, such evil will not come upon my head. Such people will not come upon the... Uh, upon the head of my husband such evil will not come upon the head of my children in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus amen in jesus name what are we saying tonight he said i am beyond limits you are going to say to god because the word of god says wherever the soul of your feet shall step upon <laughs> you will he will take it for you as an inheritance you begin to walk around because before the camera i will not be able to walk i will begin to i will walk in the spirit begin to walk around wherever you are begin to possess your possessions begin to say to god your word said to me because i am beyond limits your word said to me wherever the soul of my fish has tried step upon you will take you will take it for me for, for an inheritance begin to possess your possessions begin to say to god walk around begin to possess that land that god has prepared for you begin to possess it i want to believe that somebody is praying in the house in the name of jesus your word says to me wherever the souls of my feet shall step upon, step upon you shall you shall take it unto me for inheritance in the name of jesus all my inheritance have been scattered all over the world i possess tonight in the name of jesus because i am beyond limits in the name of jesus i possess i possess i possess i possess wherever the souls of my feet shall tread upon god is taking them for me oh god as an inheritance in the mighty name of jesus in the name of jesus Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. You are going to say to yourself, you are going to touch your body. You are going to say to yourself, every form, every form of infirmity that will make me to begin to go beyond limit, that will make me to, that, will, that does not want me to go beyond limit, because sickness at times infirmities most of it is not even at times most of the times will not allow you will not allow you see is it somebody that is being held up in, on the bed that is not that you know if the person is not feeling well we will be going beyond limits no you are going to say to god every form of infirmity in my body that is bringing me down that is bringing me low be separated from my body get out from my body by fire in the name of Jesus, I want you to deliver yourself. Say to God, because I am beyond, I am beyond limits. <laughs> I am beyond limits. Every form of infirmity, every form of sickness and diseases in my body that want to bring me low, that want to bring me down. In the name of Jesus, I, I deliver myself by fire. Get out of my life by fire. Get out of my life by fire. I want to I want you to, I want you to really be praying. I want you to be aggressive. Command every form of infirmity. Some some some, some sicknesses will, will hide in, in somebody's body. They will continue to kill the person bit by bit. I want you to be aggressive, to be angry in your spirit tonight because such sickness will not allow you to move forward, will not allow you to fly, will not allow you to be the head. Begin to command every sickness, every infirmity in my body. I speak the word of God into my body right now. Get out by fire. 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 I speak to my body. I speak to my body. No, don't harbor any form of sickness. Don't harbor any form of infirmity. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. I want you to be. You know what you want in life. You know what will make you fly. You know what will make you this. You know you will be. You'll be. You'll be. You'll be, you'll be so distinguished among your your equals. You know what will make you the top. Begin to prophesy into your life. 
Say to yourself, say to your destiny, these are, these are the things that will make me fly. These are the things that will make me to be exceptional wherever I find myself. Begin to pray unto your life. Begin to pray into your destiny. Begin to prophesy into your destiny. Prophesy to the lives of your children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, in the Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed, amen. Like I usually say to you on this platform, if you are not giving your life to Jesus, you are just, you know, it's just effort in futility. It's just effort in futility. You are going to, you know, if you have not given your life to Christ, you need to receive Jesus into your life. If you are a backslider, you need to come back to Jesus. Therefore, I'm going to give us these few minutes to pray. You are going to say after me, my father, my father, I believe in you, Jesus Christ, that you are the son of God and you came to the world to die for my sin. I confess my sins. And I ask you to forgive me and wash me with your precious blood. Come into my life and be the Lord of my life. From this day onward, and I will save you all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. If you have just, you know, that said that a simple prayer be after me, I want to congratulate you because you are already a family of God. You are already saved. And Jesus Christ already known you. You know, you just have to look around you for a Bible-believing church because you need to hear the word of God continually so that you too, you'll be established the more. And I pray as you do so, the Lord will establish you, the Lord will help you, and he will sustain you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you uh, as we, we, uh, we round up tonight. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the grace that you have released unto us tonight. Thank you for your word that has come unto us expressly. Thank you for your word that has delivered us from every bondage of the devil. Thank you for your word that is taking us beyond limits. Be exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, as we have spoken in your ears tonight, O God, Father, do much more for us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, excellent Father. We adore you, O God, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. I thank you for joining us on Victory Hour tonight. If Christ tarries in his coming, we will be here next week, same time on Victory Hour. Shalom. Your moment of liberation has come on Victory Hour. Join Abiola Daniel Akitola every Monday, 8 p.m. prompt on Victory Hour to pray and listen to live messages from the Word of God that set the captives free. Christ has sent Abiola Daniel Akitola on this program to preach good tidings unto the maid, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and opening of the prison to them that are bound, and comfort all that mourn. Victory Hour every Monday, 8 p.m. prompt. Pray along with Abiola Daniel Akintola on Facebook at Daniel Akintola on YouTube at Abidan Productions. Prayer line 070 5373 070 Victory belong to Jesus. Therefore, in Christ, you are victorious. It's your living water flow over my soul. The voice of redemption. Join Pastor Daniel Akintola every Tuesday on this program. Listen to God's directive. Through special message, prayer, and prophecy, every Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., Pastor Daniel Akintola, through the Word of God, will populate the kingdom of God and depopulate the kingdom of devil. The voice of redemption, as you listen to the Word of God, soul-lifting gospel song, will also prepare you for true redemption. Voice of redemption, tune in every Tuesday, 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Paramount FM 94.5, as you listen Remain blessed.
Lord, I wish. 